Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to From the Depths of Mesa Cargo. We're here in the build mode, showing off a little bit of a laser tank. Just look at this boy spin. This thing is unnamed. I don't currently have a name for this. My naming scheme is split between this, like, animal dinosaur naming scheme and this, like, ancient Greek soldier naming scheme. So I have no idea what to name a flying laser hover tank. This thing is coming in at 81,000 materials, a little over that, uh, and it has a big honking laser. Now, before you judge, I don't normally make laser craft, so I don't know if this is any good. Okay? Showing you what you're looking at. You're looking at laser pumps, cavities, AP things, storage cavities, armor. Yes, explosions can wrap in through here. It's definitely not uh, perfectly ideal. This thing is not uh, overly durable. It's not very durable. Uh, it's meant to be more of a destroy all aircraft and only fight aircraft type of vehicle. So it does have some ERA. Because it has ERA, it also has repair bots because otherwise they're one and done. Uh, and then it's got this big honking fuel engine it's a pretty pretty simple i don't know if it's a good engine setup but it's pretty simple it's just cylinders strapped to the crankshaft with carburetors attached everywhere they can and then where there's empty space superchargers are also placed and then the whole thing is radiated to uh avoid having specific spots that infrared missiles will target that's just how i like to do it it's i don't think it's the best way to do it but it's how i like to do it Behind that, and the absolute butt of the craft, we have a whole bunch of surge protection and heavy armor housing the PIDs, the AI, and the detection. The detection is currently a couple of radar buoys that are automatically fired, as well as a wireless snooper. It does need a little bit more detection than this, but uh, I haven't figured out exactly what I want to do with that yet. So that's what we've got for now. The armoring around this thing is generally uh, angled metal to provide an opening for heat and hash, and then heavy armor, and then internal. So yeah, it's not the, not the most heavily armored thing, but uh, it's pretty durable. If we go ahead and take a look at the turret, the turret is three, uh, three laser barrels on a one-axis turret. And then this one-axis turret is on another turret. So the laser comes out of the craft and then snakes around to the other turret where which lets us, there we go, look side to side and up and down on it, giving us a very nice custom laser turret look. There's also a shield generator shoved onto the main body that projects this shield out front, which is sitting at strength six, I believe. It's not heavily defense oriented. This thing is attack oriented. Speaking of it being attack oriented, the only plane that I've encountered, so this, and I saw on the campaign map that there was one of these, this Halo Swarm is sitting inside the territory of the Twin Guard. Now, I remember swarms from the other campaign. They are a whole bunch of small, obnoxious airships that are generally all glass cannons. So I was thinking to myself, you know, I really don't have anything that's great at anti-air. And that's where this laser tank came from. Now, I'm only testing against things that I've actually faced in the Ashes of the Empire campaign. So I can't test against this. So I figure I'll test against the D Dustwood Gypsies. Now the Duster, it's not a ridiculous, it's not a good design. Uh, it barely ever hits its target, but it's the only plane I've actually faced so far. So we're just gonna go ahead and spawn in like, I don't know. Yeah, sure, why not? 32 Dusters and <laughs> And we'll just see how this thing actually does. We'll set it into combat mode. We'll disconnect our camera. We'll switch over to the binoculars. There we go. Oh, man. It is obliterating it, and it stopped shooting. It turned around. There we go. Hello? What are you doing? Oh, well, there we go. Okay, so I do definitely need to fiddle with its AI a little bit more so that it will properly direct itself to the enemy. Dusters, as I mentioned, they barely hit anything ever, so this isn't an ideal test. But
but what is important is the damage that we're capable of doing. So, I figure any Steel Striders planes will probably be pretty small, and they'll be made of metal. We've got 47 AP on this laser, so we can deal with uh, we can deal with stacked metal, we can deal with a pleak, we can deal with light alloy, all of that. As long as it's not behind layers of smoke and shield, uh, we can deal with all those materials. And yeah, this is this is sort of meant to be an answer to aircraft. Uh, I don't think it's going to be very good against too many tanks, simply because it is going to have a hard time firing down. Come on. Oh, he's trying to fire at the one on the floor. Yeah, so it has a little bit of an issue hitting some things, but there we go. It just cleaned up 30-whatever dusters. So, yeah, uh, that's the laser hopper tank work in, in progress, as it's currently named. As I mentioned, I have no idea what to name this, given uh, how messed up my current naming scheme is. So, if you have any suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments, or join the Discord and leave them there. You're all welcome to join the Discord. The link is always in the description. It's supposed to be a permanent forever link, but if it doesn't work, just say something, and then uh, I'll, I'll fix it. Other than that, I've been Sicargo, this has been fun, and as I mentioned in a couple of my other videos, I'll be releasing all of the blueprints for my vehicles up onto the Steam Workshop uh, if we end up hitting 100 subs by the time we finish the Ashes of the Empire campaign. If you're new to my channel and you don't know how far we are in that, we're about to go up against the Lightning Hoods and the White Flayers. After that, we have the Steel Empire and then the Twin Guards, so we got some time left. So yeah, be sure, uh, if you want to see more from the Depths, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share the video, so on and so forth. It really helps the channel and that warms my cold heart. So anyway, <laughs> I've been Zicargo. Uh, this was a really fun build for me. I'm not used to making laser craft, so uh, it was it was interesting fiddling with something uh, something different. I've been trying to work on my skills as an aesthetic builder. I've been trying to uh, also improve my armoring. I've been trying to work within this volume limit. I actually really enjoy the volume limit. I know some people might not, uh, and it might not be their favorite thing, but I'm really liking the volume limit of the Ashes of the Empire campaign. It's really forcing me to get creative in how I make things, and uh, I think that's helping me to improve. So, I don't know. I mean, from certain angles, it's got to be said this thing looks pretty... Uh, ugly and boxy but from other angles it looks a lot less ugly and boxy I'm still not sure how long i want this barrel to be i'd like to bring this upper ridge out and have have it like again right before the barrel and do something like that but we are up at the volume limit so it's probably going to remain look at something like this i also like the tiered effect where it goes down by half a block and then down again by half a block so maybe uh maybe the answer is to do some mimic work to make this laser end look I think that might end up being... I, I'm rambling, I'm rambling, and I'm thinking... <laughs> this might look a little different when you see it in the campaign. I'm not really intending to use it against the White Flayers or the Lightning Hoods, more so the Twin Guard and Steel Empire. So I've got some time to fiddle with it and make some changes. But yeah, I'm looking for names in the comments below, and likes, comments, shares, all that stuff always helps out. The channel makes me very happy. I really appreciate uh, the... We have a small group of like eight people, and... Uh, that small group of eight people is why everyone else gets to see the video. Uh, if those people didn't watch the video and press the like button, then no one else would ever see this. And then this would just be a secret. Uh, it'd never be seen. I should give this eyes. Oh, man. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you soon with some more From the Depths.